7 o'clock in the morning, getting ready for our big trip to the Mohunk Preserve, two hours away from New York City. Going to do some serious rock climbing today, so for that, I'm going to need some coffee. Hey, thank you so much. I can't procrastinate any longer. We're getting on the road. Gorgeous. I wonder if you start out on like a smaller rock or a boulder. You don't think so? Straight to the top. Okay. I don't think I'm going to make it to the top. Maybe. We'll see. Nervous. I may or may not have a fear of heights. We're here. We're getting off at exit 18. have arrived at the Gunks. I love the Gunks because it's just one of those places where there's such a high density of climbing and uh, it's very accessible. It's very different than any other place that I've been. Right now, I'm gonna link up with the man who's gonna be keeping me safe on this journey. Bobby Ferrari. Hey. Bobby, hey! Nice to meet you. How are you Great doing? Great to girl? meet you. Awesome. Thanks for coming. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah. Beautiful setting, beautiful day. Oh, uh, couldn't get any better. Oh, yeah. This. How yeah. long have you been doing this with High Exposure Adventures? Um, what time is it now? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully longer than today. <laughs> I've been doing this for 15 years. People come from Philly and Jersey and all over to climb here. It's one of the best climbing areas in the Northeast. I got some gear for you, so if okay, you'd awesome. like, you could take a seat. Yeah, sure. And uh, we'll, we're gonna start with climbing shoes. Okay. So with climbing shoes, they fit. Really small. Snow. Yeah, they're so. Painful. We're, they're, they're slightly uncomfortable. <laughs> this is real, this is really happening. All Once right. the shoes are on, there's no turning back. So this is a climbing harness? and we are gonna put this on and this is gonna stay on all day. Ready? Let's do it. Let's go. This particular area right here, the Shuangunks, they started climbing here back in the late 30s. The Indians called it Shangun, mm -hmm. and then the Dutch kind of morphed it into Shuangunks. So that's how it became the Shuangunk mountain range. But if you're cool, you know the nickname. The Gunks. The Gunks. <laughs> so what makes the Gunks such a premier rock climbing destination? Some of these routes here are, um, they're considered three-star classics. I'm, that's about as good as you can get in the world of rock climbing. So it all comes down to that really good footwork that we talked about and being able to hang on to small holds. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to do that as a new climber, but as you become more seasoned, your hands become stronger and you can just move right down the wall. That's that's really the beauty of One after of this. another, yeah. it looks like. There are all these different mm -hmm. courses. How high would someone go? Well, this particular climb has an anchor about 100 feet off the deck. You get to climb. Oh, I'm gonna climb now. So this is where we're gonna head up over here. There's a little path right here. It's gonna take us to a cool climbing spot. Here, we we're can, going up yeah. here? We can oh, wow. get you started, yeah. All right. Cool. When you're making your way up here, try to use these rock steps because the ground around it is kind of loose. And if you need four-wheel drive, meaning your hands, you can use them too. Makes it a little bit easier. Yeah. So is this the actual climb? No, this is just the approach to the climb. So there's a climb <laughs> before the climb. Kind of, yeah. There. I can see the view a little bit from here. It yes, looks cool. incredible. Good work. Thanks. We're just going to make our way right up there. You can. Okay. Oh, wow. This view is incredible. Just green everywhere. And the mountains look beautiful. The sky is beautiful. This is a perfect day. Oh, wow. Okay, this makes it worth it. <laughs> you have this valley that we're looking out over, so it makes it feel a little more dramatic. I'm really excited. 
I kind of have a fear of heights. Like, I can't predict it. I don't know how I'm gonna feel when I get up there. I just wanna not let fear get the best of me. I know I'm safe. I know I'm strapped into this rope. I wanna get to the top. I don't know if I can do this. Oh God, I can't look back. I cannot look down or back. I'm afraid of getting down. Oh God. People come from Philly and Jersey and all over to climb here. It's one of the best climbing areas in the Northeast. I kind of have a fear of heights. We're gonna start out with nice small steps taking your time, looking closely for your footholds is really important. If you're looking up and looking for something to grab and not paying much attention with your feet, you're gonna find that you'll start scratching around with your feet. You wanna pay close attention to your footwork. It's all about pushing up from the legs, yeah. right? As opposed to yeah. relying on upper body. You wanna use your legs as much as possible. Understand that there are not a lot of handholds here. I don't know how I'm gonna feel when I get up there. Am I on belay? Belay on. And trust your feet. This <sighs> is hard. Leave your hips come out a little bit away from the wall. That's it. There you go. Now walk those feet up. Oh, I can't look backwards. Ooh. Okay, you got this. You got this. You are totally safe. There you go, Simone. Ugh. Smaller step. Stand up. Ugh. I cannot look down or back, or else I'm gonna flip out. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, that's so far down. Okay, you can do this. You're totally safe. You're not gonna die. You're not gonna die. You're just, you're not gonna die. In the beginning, you always have that fear factor. So what happens is that takes over a lot of ab your ability to climb. This is really scary. I think I'm having fun, but I'm not sure. Okay, I'm gonna keep going, because if I linger for too long, I'm gonna psych myself out. Simone. Yeah? You might want to check out the view. I don't know that I want to. I'm afraid of getting down, though. That's the only thing. As hard as it is for me to be up at this height, it's beautiful. And I'm so glad that I did it. It's, it's incredible. I can't believe that this view is right in our backyard, two hours from New York City. All right, Bobby, get me down. Now straighten your legs. Do that. Wide stance. You're doing fine. OK, stand up on your legs. <sighs> Simone did well. She did really well. I didn't want to give up halfway through, and I did it. You go to look around, and all you see is, you know, air. I think fear can be really irrational, and we can let it take hold when it's, there's nothing really to fear. She showed, you know, true courage. Reaching the top of the climb for anyone is always that, you know, high point. Once I got up to the top, that's when I could really enjoy the view. We're setting sail off the coast of, um, yeah, too rambunctious. With Chef Dave Pasternak. Hey, get away, bird. No, it's my catch. So far, I haven't lost anyone yet, but uh, there's always a first time. Thank you so much for expanding my horizons. You are an, ex I can't say encyclopedia on camera. <laughs> Looks delicious, don't you think? 